Hello and welcome to firewalls.com. My name is Brian Reed and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a secondary WAN connection on your SonicWall firewall. Now secondary WAN connections are useful for load balancing and also for failover in the event that your primary ISP connection goes offline. So in this first video I'm going to show you how to set up the secondary WAN and then in the following video I'm going to show you the different load balancing and failover options that are available when you have multiple WAN set up. So let's go ahead and begin. Inside the admin console we want to go to network, interfaces, and with the sonic wall it doesn't matter which interface or interfaces that you use for a WAN connection. Again the sonic wall can support one all the way up to the available number of ports minus one. All we need to do is just select an interface that's set to unassigned. So for this demonstration we're going to go ahead and use the X2 and we're going to configure the interface. And for the zone we want to set it to WAN. For the IP assignment this is based off of what your ISP provided you information wise whether you're going to have a static IP address or you're going to be using DHCP. So for this example we're just going to use static. I'm going to put in the static address and I'm going to provide the subnet mask and the default gateway and any DNS server addresses provided to you by the ISP or if there are any public DNS servers that you want to use you can type those in there as well and then we'll select OK. Now we can see our sonic wall is already set up. We have our primary WAN connection which was the X1 and now we have our secondary WAN connection which is X2. Okay, we hope you found this video useful. Look for the part two where we show you how to use the load balancing and failover of our now dual WAN firewall.